So LSU wide receiver Justin Jefferson has shot up a lot of draft boards over the past few weeks, and especially on some draft evaluators that I really respect. And so I wanted to go back and see what is it about him that really has these guys excited about him possibly being wide receiver number two, the first round draft pick in the NFL draft this year. And so there were three plays that really stood out to me that I believe that showcase his ability uh, to really get open and be productive. And I'm gonna show those to you, but some of the general things that I saw about him was that, that he has solid enough speed and nice size. He can flatten out a route well, even if he doesn't break down you know, with his feet and chopping them and you know cutting well. But when he does do that, when he does break down really well, his feet are really active and his ability to cut either left or right he like gets some separation every time. And I believe that is my favorite trait of his, and you're gonna see it. I like that he comes back to the ball when it's thrown to him. He doesn't wait till it comes to him. And he seems to have strong hands. I didn't see a lot of uh, issues with him dropping. I thought I did see some. He adjusts to his QB really well, and he has good run after the catch ability. He's not afraid to run routes over the middle. LSU used him a lot in that capacity, especially in that slot and coming across the middle. He wasn't afraid to take hits. Not to mention that along that note and some of his ability to run across the middle is that he's patient in his routes. He'll make sure that he gets open. He's not gonna rush. He's gonna make sure that he attacks the defense the way it needs to be. And LSU in general just really like to use him as the big slot guy. And also one of the other things that he, he can run option routes really well. And I saw all of this um, against him. They put corners on him, there were safeties on him, and there were linebackers, and of course he beat them all. So the three plays I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you one from the Clemson game, one from the Florida game, and one from the Ole Miss game. And you're gonna see why I believe that Justin Jefferson has shot up the draft boards. So here against Clemson, um, I'm gonna show you a dig route that he ran against the safety, Kevon Wallace, number 12. So Justin Jefferson here is in the slot closest to the line of scrimmage. Now watch him set up this dig route across the middle. He intentionally runs this route up the field full on outside leverage. And as you know, a dig route is when you run up the field about 10 yards or past the first down market and you cut inside. He ran up the field on the outside leverage. The safety, Kevin Wallace, is already in outside leverage. And he feels comfortable maintaining that now that he sees Jefferson running outside leverage because he thinks this route is about to go to the outside. And at this point, the play is done because Justin Jefferson already has him set up. Jefferson has a great breakdown at the top of this route. Look at how low he gets and how active his feet are. The DB has no choice but to react to that difference and you know, the running up the field. And Jefferson explodes to the inside of the field off the cut and he creates instant separation. And the play is done there, it's completed first down. And that's something that Justin Jefferson is a master at doing. You see him do that repeatedly. And you saw repeatedly this season where he's like breaking people down at the top of the route and boom, two yards of separation. So I'm gonna go show you another play here. This is Justin Jefferson against Florida where he like absolutely cooks Marco Wilson by forcing his hips to the outside leverage. And you're gonna see that here. Justin Jefferson is in the slot. The DB's five yards off him. So at the snap, watch Justin Jefferson's release once again. He runs upfield intentionally, taking the outside leverage. And that's a feint. He's not gonna really do the outside leverage, it's just a fake here. Wilson eats this up though. He sees this outside leverage and says, okay, I gotta jump on this. And he ends up opening his hips to the outside. Look at his hips. His hips are pointed toward the sideline, completely sold on an outside route. So he's dead, the, the play is done. He, he's over already. Justin Jefferson uses a different breakdown method this time, different from the one I just showed you. He does two exaggerated steps followed by a hesitation. So he completely slowed himself down but maintained his balance here and his bounce before he does a quick jab step, like plant move off the left foot as he cuts inside. So that last little jab step <laughs> really slowed it, you know, and put Wilson in bad position because he's thinking, oh, he's about to go outside. And Wilson was caught in the wrong position and is now two yards off Jefferson as the ball is on the way. That's just a well done play by Justin Jefferson. Now the last play I'm gonna show you is Justin Jefferson against Ole Miss where he embarrasses their freshman safety. I don't know why they put a freshman safety on him to begin with, but that's what they did. 
So Justin Jefferson is in the slot again. I told you LSU really likes putting him in the slot. This is really like the only time I saw him in these games. Ole Miss put a freshman safety, AJ Finley, in man coverage on Justin Jefferson. Look at the release trending to the outside leverage again. The safety, of course, bites on this. And you can actually see him shuffle twice to his left when Justin Jefferson is on that outside leverage. Justin Jefferson made him do the cha-cha slide. And the play is over. Once he commits to the outside, it's done here. Watch the feet as he approaches the safety. They're very active and smooth before he gives a strong jab, so that's plant step, to the right to further sell the outside leverage. So if he, the fact that he already got him shuffling two feet to the side and then he jabs his right foot to the outside as well, the safety can't react. He did him so wrong on this play. The cut back to the left or to the inside was so smooth that Finley stumbled backwards trying to reestablish his footing. And it looks like he got shook by an earthquake because he was stumbling trying to catch himself back up. And by that time, it was an easy catch and score for a touchdown. Justin Jefferson did this repeatedly throughout the season. You can probably see this in every game, just really breaking people down and creating separation. So that skill, that trait, that alone, I see why people are so high on Justin Jefferson. He's a good athlete with some good traits, especially that ability to create separation at the top of a route with his breakdowns. That's going to translate to the league. He should be productive. Um, but do I believe he should be taken over Jerry Judy and be wide receiver two or anything like that or even wide receiver one? Because I believe that Jerry Judy is the number one wide receiver. No, I don't think so. He's going to be great and whoever gives him is going to be a good player. But I prefer Jerry Judy. With that said, what do you think of Justin Jefferson and where do you think he's going to be selected in the NFL draft? Thanks for watching. Check out my other content. I'll see you next time.